enthusiasts. How are you doing? Welcome back. I hope you're all well and I hope you're having a great day. Today we're back on the Mini Magwick project and I thought I'd just start by giving a bit of background on Swift Tune and the Mini Magwick because not everyone's aware of who they are or the car itself. So I've taken some details straight from Swift Tune's website. Over its long history, Swift Tune has firmly established itself as the leading A series race engine builder. Since 1965, their engines have been powering minis to championship and race wins on a national and international stage. Swift Tune has a very long standing pedigree for going racing. From day one, founder Glyn Swift was building the engines and then racing them under the Swift Tune banner back in the 60s. Fast forward over 55 years and those successes have continued thanks to Nick Swift's pocket rocket antics, often seen in the Swift Tune Works Minis. All of Swift Tune's track experience goes straight into their products and engines meaning that year on the year they get quicker thanks to Nick's expert knowledge on the racetrack. As the old adage goes, race it on a Sunday, sell it on a Monday. That's why we go racing and what sets us apart. Modern day media coverage at iconic events such as the Goodwood Revival has been incredibly beneficial to increasing Swift Tune's brand exposure. The Swift Tune Mini Magic is a professionally built Mark I Mini that performs far beyond a Cooper S. This gives Swift Tune the opportunity to upgrade and improve performance and the driving experience without the concern of finding or considering alterations to a genuine Cooper S. The end result is a beautiful and seriously fun little car that can take pride of place in any classic car collection. In 2017, Optane magazine, when talking about the Mini Magic, said, it's like a Mini Cooper S, only better. The impeccably assembled Mini Magic is named after the famously challenging first corner at the Goodwood Motor Racing Circuit. The happy hunting ground of some giant slaying moments for Nick Swift in the Work Swift Tune FIA Mini. All Mini Magics are bespoke built to customers' requirements, ensuring that you really do have the most unique and exclusive Mini that suits you. The choices for engine characteristics range from a smooth, high torque output that is more suited to in town use or an increased spec suited to the open road for the more spirited drive. Interior and trim are based on the original Cooper Brocade and high back seats, but can be bespoke too. The Magic standard features are classic race door mirrors, leather bonnet straps, rose petal wheels, lowered ride height, all replicating the historic race cars. So I hope you enjoyed that little bit of insight and a little bit of history into Swift Tune and the Mini Magic and I hope that explains a little bit more about what the car is. So Mark's Mini Magic is Mini Magic number seven. That means there's only six other Magwicks in existence so it is a very very rare car. But there are two more currently in plan to be built for other customers. So it's certainly not a high volume mass manufactured car. At this stage, I can't tell you the full spec of the car and there will be some surprises and some things just to hold back that you'll see in future episodes. So I think Mark said in the previous episode about the interior. So I'm not going to give away what that's going to be yet. Obviously it's going to be 60s Cooper S period style, but it won't be sticking to the original color scheme of the car. There's also a change in the engine specification as well. So most Magwicks come out with a 1293 A series engine. 
and Mark is definitely going for the spirited drive version of the Mini because he's opting to have a 1380 A-series engine. I'm not sure of the full spec of that engine yet, but I am guessing that we are probably going to be looking at at least 110 plus brake horsepower, maybe even 120 or so. So in a Mark 1 1960s Cooper S with other modifications as well by Swift Tune, it surely is going to be a very, very enjoyable car to drive on the open road. I absolutely cannot wait to have a drive in the car if Mark will let me, um, or I certainly wouldn't mind being a passenger in the car. So as we mentioned in the previous videos, this sort of video series is not going to follow the same way we'll film the other restorations being carried out, primarily because it's not me or Mark doing the restoration. So the guy you can see doing all the work here on this video is Alex. Alex is obviously one of the engineers that works the Swift Tune and primarily builds up the Magic cars and prepares Nick's racing cars. So it's quite an honor to have Alex building this Swift Tune for Mark, and I'm sure it will be done to a very, very high standard. Just sitting watching the time lapse myself, I just notice how simple, quick, and easy Alex makes it look, and how all the parts are just to hand. I know looking at the trim down the side of the wheel arches there that other people have mentioned quite recently when I've been fitting trims about how difficult that trim can be but it looks like it was pretty much pre-shaped and went onto the car absolutely perfectly. So in this second episode of the Magwick build is mostly going to be just refitting the trims on the shell. And as you can see, it's a lovely job to do this because the shell has already been fully restored and painted and is a nice solid shell. And pretty much everything going onto the shell is new, new old stock, refurbished or completely brand new. I think as we go through some of these videos as well, it's easy to get distracted by the minis that are just in the background and what's going on on the background. So I think the green mini on the left there, I may be mistaken here, but I think that is Willow 2, which in itself is quite a interesting car, certainly a very quick fast car, a uh, very competitive car that Nick drives. I believe it might have been sold recently to Page 3 Racing, but I, I, I may be wrong. And just looking to the far left there, you can see the Swift June 1275 GT historic touring car, which is an absolutely awesome car. I had the pleasure of seeing that race at the Goodwood Revival and stood right beside it when it was started up and warmed up and it is an absolute beast of a car. It sounds amazing, side exit exhaust, A-series screaming engine, wow. And like I say, it's just interesting to look at what's going on around the other areas in the workshop. So I'm going to try not to waffle my whole way through this video because it is somewhat difficult to narrate on a video uh, when someone's working and you've not been there to go through the build process. It would be really great though if you've got any questions that you want to know about the Magic, about Swift Tune, about the build or any other Mark's cars or project cars in general, please do drop those questions down the bottom and I'll try and answer them for you in the next video. I also think I 
need to comment and uh, compliment Swift Tune on just how tidy their workshop is. So this is a professional business and the floor looks just as clean and tidy as the floor in my workshop. So they reach my levels of OCD, I think, which is really nice to see when they're in the business of building historic racing cars like this and doing work for customers it really does fill you with confidence to see a lovely clean and tidy workshop like that i did say i'm not going to waffle on so i'm going to sit back now please enjoy the rest of the video and don't forget to check back for the next update in the magic build series if you're enjoying the video please do give us a thumbs up and if you're not a subscriber, please consider subscribing to keep up to date with all the build projects and progress as we go along. Look at him, two of this. He's got it right. 